So I don't think it's much of a secret by now that I'm not exactly a big fan of family channels. I mean, if you just took a look at my channel and looked at the videos that I've been uploading over the years, I think it'd become very clear that I think family channels are a problem. And I'm sure there are some channels out there that do it in a more acceptable way that maybe I wouldn't have so much of a problem with. But one channel that definitely doesn't fall into that category is The Prince Family, a YouTube channel with 10.8 million subscribers where, as you can imagine, they just use their kids in all their videos. Their kids are basically their employees, right? That's the reason they make money. And I've spoken about the Prince family. I think on one other occasion, it was actually on my second channel. And the reason I made that video is because I was just going through some of the titles and thumbnails that the Prince family use in their videos, and they are genuinely very concerning. I mean, some of the videos are just weird more than anything, right? We have one here that says, husband rates my Christmas costumes, and uh, for some reason, he's making this facial expression. We also have videos like this one that says, smelling like fish prank to see my husband's reaction, which is partnered with this thumbnail bit strange, isn't it? And then we have other videos that aren't just strange, but are very concerning. Like this thumbnail that was used on a Guess Her Age challenge, where they have a girl who was half naked, he's in the corner saying Zam with his tongue out, clearly likes what he sees, judging by the emoji, and then above the picture it says, she's 12. Right, so they have genuinely uploaded a video and either made a thumbnail or got someone else to make a thumbnail for their video that makes him look like a PDF file, if you know what I mean. Yeah... I would love to know the thought process behind that. I mean, also, could we just mention what type of audience are you trying to get to click on this video by trying to insinuate that there's a 12-year-old who is, like, half naked in the thumbnail? Like, that is genuinely grim. And they might hear me say that and think, oh, no, that's not what we're trying to do. That's not the audience that we were trying to attract. What type of audience are you trying to get to click on this then? And here we have another video that is currently titled, I caught Darian texting Janelle, they must be stopped. Now the reason why I said a video that is currently titled is because once upon a time, when I made my original video, it was actually titled this. I caught my 13 year old brother Darian texting my 12 year old sister Janelle, they must be stopped. Which gets even weirder when you look at the thumbnail and see that his brother is holding up a phone and you've got the text messages on the side here that say, Hey big head, what's goody? Are we hanging out today? Yeah, meet me at my bro house. Okay, I had fun on the swings yesterday. I did, we should do it again. Send me a picture of what you do. Again, very, very strange behaviour, right? Now, obviously, they've cropped off the picture here, and to me, it seems like they're trying to insinuate something with what this picture would be. They might say, no, it isn't. It would just be like an innocent selfie or whatnot. But on other thumbnails that they've uploaded, they've showed pictures trying to insinuate stuff like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to do that again here. Like, for example, we have a video that at the time of me releasing my last video was titled this. Catfishing my 12-year-old brother prank using Bianca's iPhone leads to cops being called. And the thumbnail attached to that title was Bianca here saying, Oh my god, he's only 12 with some messages saying, Hey daddy, what's good Bianca? Send me some booty pics with a picture being sent there. He sent a bunch of emojis, thanks, send me something. And he showed a picture of someone that's obviously not his brother, but topless. Like... What the fuck are they doing here? And this has obviously led to some problems with YouTube because according to the Prince family a year ago, their channel was actually terminated for a short period of time. They ended up getting it back. This is what their reasoning was for their channel being terminated. They made more rules. Yeah, they made more. So basically the rule has changed and then the very next day, like... <laughs> They said, see y'all later, Prince Bell. So that's what pretty much happened, man. But so, obviously they gave us our channel back because our content's not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all, she says. I mean, I'm not sure if I would agree with that. But they said that YouTube decided to change the community guidelines one day and their channel got terminated and then they got it back. They don't say specifically what video got the channel terminated and what video got the strikes. But I mean, they've changed the titles to a lot of these videos. So I think you can probably guess which ones. But let's get to the reason why I'm talking about the Prince family today. Because I recently came across a tweet by Gunner TV, a great YouTuber who I'd highly recommend. And he tweeted out a screenshot and said, I can't believe these videos were posted in the same week. And here we have some videos from the Prince family. And it starts off by saying, someone broke into our house and they stole everything. To the next video saying, we're homeless. To the very next video saying, the Prince family official house tour with apparently a $15 million home in the thumbnail. Which when I saw this tweet, I thought that was genuinely insane. There's no way that them three videos were uploaded back to back. But lo and behold, when I go over to the Prince family YouTube channel, they were, literally one after the other. They genuinely went from clickbaiting that they were homeless to then clickbaiting that they've just bought a $15 million house. Now let's actually start by watching the We Are Homeless video where they try to make it overly emotional saying that they're not going to have a home even though they are multi-multi-millionaires. We got some sad news, some extremely sad news, but we gotta say what's up to the beautiful wife right over here. What's up, guys? I'm doing literally just all right. Yeah. <laughs> just um, blah. My eyes look watery still. I was uh, tearing up a little bit ago before I started to vlog. And uh, pretty much we got some 
some extremely devastating news. I mean, listen to the music in the background, right? They are really trying to make this a big old sob story. And when you add the context of it, and when we see the house that they've actually moved into, and we hear the reason why they went homeless, this is genuinely laughable. But the reason why we're gonna be potentially homeless is because the house that we're in right now, we was selling it. Yeah. So we have to be out this house in a certain time for the new buyer to take over it. Yep. And we were supposed to be in our other house by now. I mean, how sad is that? Hey, my eyes are watering just thinking about it. These multi-multi-millionaires are going to have to wait a bit longer to move from their current mansion to their new mansion. And in that time, they might even have to stay in a luxury Airbnb. Like, how are they gonna survive? I wouldn't really class that as homeless, mate. You know, most people who are homeless can't then go and move into a mansion in the next week. And in fact, already have a mansion lined up. It's not really what homeless is. And when we look at the thumbnail of this video, how insulting is this, right? We've got the woman sat in the middle saying help, pretending to be homeless on the streets. And she's even got kids in the thumbnail of like, ripped clothing, looking sad, like they're living on the street. Genuinely clickbaiting that her children don't have a home and they're living rough. Like, not only is that a massive insult to people who are genuinely homeless, but how disgusting is it to use your kids in that thumbnail? To try and get people to click on it because they feel sorry for kids who could potentially be homeless. Like, it's genuinely grim behavior. And they didn't just do this clickbait as people who live in, like, a normal house but maybe aren't that rich. These are multi-multi-millionaires that are going to move into a multi-multi-multi-million dollar mansion. And the other house isn't done so where are we gonna go literally anywhere you have millions in the bank you can do absolutely anything you want to here and in fact when we look at the dates from the we are homeless video to their house tour where they start doing videos in this house it's four days to say these two people are completely out of touch would be a big big understatement like again what was the thought process here we got other houses but that's occupied by tennis and stuff so. <laughs> I mean, can you not see the irony when you're recording this? Making a video claiming that you're homeless, clickbaiting that you're homeless, clickbaiting that your kids are homeless, and then saying, I mean, we have loads of houses, but they're occupied by tenants right now. Like, let's be honest here, in this situation, all you have to do as a multi-millionaire is put your stuff in a storage, which won't break the bank, and stay somewhere else that won't break the bank. That's the situation at hand here. A bit of inconvenience, I do realise that, might be a bit stressful, but then to go and claim that you're going to be homeless and clickbait that you're going to be homeless, again, is just incredibly insulting. We didn't think this day was, you know, we didn't think this was gonna happen. Like, we thought everything was gonna be a smooth ride. The new people got to get this house, it was gonna be in our house. I mean, poor, poor you. I feel so bad for you. And I mean, let's look at the comment section here. It's the most, like, NPC type comments you'll ever see, but we've got stuff like, sending prayers, Prince family. I'm sorry you're going through this. Keep your head up. Everything is gonna work out. Love you guys. Praying for y'all. Y'all got this. Keeping y'all in prayers. Hope the best. I pray you guys get through this. We can't afford to lose such a chance as good as this, praying for y'all. I think they're gonna be fine. Call me crazy, but I think they're gonna make it through this just fine. Again, we always have to go the hardest road. The hardest road, she says, after just buying a multi-million dollar mansion. I mean, I would love for you to see what the hardest road is actually like, because I promise you, this is not it. We had a closing date. We had to reschedule our closing date because of the situation that happened, and it's still not fixed, so we ain't tell the kids or nothing like that. The kid's not with us right now, and we have to go to U-Haul place to get some moving boxes, because we have to be out this house in a certain time and yeah, sell it to the new buyers. And, um, yeah, we don't know what to do right now, so... <laughs> Only thing we can do, I guess, is try to continue to be positive. I would probably find it quite easy to remain positive when I knew I was moving into a mega mansion in a few days, to be honest. But, yeah. Either way, let's actually get to the house tour, shall we? Now, we're not going to watch it all because it's an hour and 20 minutes long. Can't be arsed with that. But just to add some context as to the house that they were moving into when they claimed that they were going to be homeless, this is it. <laughs> That's the wardrobe. That's just the wardrobe. Two stories. Yep, that's right. The people that were apparently homeless and really, really struggling have a wardrobe that is two stories and is bigger than a lot of people's houses and apartments. It must be a really tough life. I generally can't believe they made it through this, but they, they are so brave. What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Damien. And, and we are back once again, guys, with another video. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe right now. But join us, family, because we're dropping bangers back to back for the rest of the year. What the fuck is going on here? I feel like I'm on, like, hardcore drugs or something. What's happening? We are on our road. We, we are, are on our road. road. Hey. We are on our road. We, we are on our road. road. Hey. Yeah, I mean, just in case you're watching this video right now, Prince family, please never do that again. For everyone's sake. Today is a Prince family official. I'll 
Are you excited for today? I'm so excited for today. Are you excited for today? Man, I'm, I'm overly excited for today. I'm actually thirsty. I mean, they're in really good spirits considering they were homeless, you know? I'm glad they remained positive in such a hard time. I have a really pretty chandelier that I picked out myself. Um, it's gold, it's pretty. She has a chandelier in her office. I mean, which is, it's crazy for a homeless person, isn't it? Yeah, I definitely can feel it. <laughs> Alright y'all, so right here we have this ginormous- I mean, look at the size of this place, man. I, I can't believe they had the cheek to clickbait the way they did. It it's so fucking grim. And again, four days between these videos. They're just not very likable people, are they? Even just from this whole situation with the two videos back to back. But then you bear in mind the other videos I've uploaded that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Very, very unlikable people. But I mean, clearly they're liked by a lot of people too, right? This video's got 1.2 million views. They have 10.8 million subscribers. People like this. I do realize it's obviously probably younger people, or it is younger people who watch these videos, but, I mean, yeah, they're stealing a living, to say the least. I mean, I am too, I'm not gonna deny it, but I also don't make videos claiming that I'm homeless when I'm about to move into a mansion, so it's a bit different. But yeah, either way, I'm gonna leave video there, I would love to know your thoughts on everything that we spoke about in today's video, what's your thoughts on the Prince family in general, and uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, please do a like down below, subscribe if you are new, also check out Gunner TV, like I mentioned, the reason I know about this, because I saw his tweet, and until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit, alright, goodbye.